Hi, I'm Michelle Karam with Dishes by Michelle in Los Angeles, California. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, you're probably trying to find that perfect side dish to accompany your baked hams and turkeys. Well, here's one that's a classic twist on the old coleslaw recipe. This is Thanksgiving fennel slaw. So for this recipe, we're going to be using fennel. Sometimes it's also known as anise. This has a real licorice-y kind of flavor. It kind of has like these fringy looking things on top that might look like dill. These are called fronds. You're going to discard these. You're not going to use these for anything. You could probably use them for some garnish, but that's about it in terms of the fronds. And you're going to cut this bulb. And I'm going to cut it down lengthwise this way, right down the middle. And I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm just going to start slicing it exactly as I would if you had cabbage. And you want to make sure that you get nice thin slices because it is a little bit of a strong flavor and you want to make sure that you get small little bites of this. And you can smell the delicious aroma from this fennel already. It's got that black licorice-y kind of smell to it. It's really fragrant. And the next thing I'm going to do is I have some red onion and I'm just going to do a little medium dice on this. And this is also a really colorful dish, which is another thing that it'll kind of add a little bit more vibrance to your table against the brown of the turkey. This is, they got the greens and the reds and it's just real pretty. So let's go ahead and put this in our bowl too. Now I'm going to go ahead and chop some celery. And this is kind of classic to a coleslaw. You would see celery in a coleslaw and we're just going to Go right across and just give it a chop. And then I'm going to go ahead and also chop up some parsley. Just go ahead and curl it up and give it a chop. And the last ingredient that I'm going to add to this wonderful fennel slaw is green apples. Now the crunch from this green apple is going to cut down on maybe some of the bitter or the licorice taste of the fennel and it's going to add some sweet and tart and tangy to it. And I'm going to do like a medium dice. And now let's get to our dressing. Now this dressing is basic, simple, pure vinaigrette that, you know, there's no real complication or emulsion to it. No mayonnaise also, which is fantastic because you can also cut back on the calories. It's a lot healthier for you too. So I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil and I probably have about three tablespoons of olive oil. And you can use extra virgin, you could use light, doesn't matter, just olive oil. And this is apple cider vinegar. It's relatively inexpensive and the best part is it picks up on the flavor from the apple too. So you're just kind of reinforcing that. So we'll add some apple cider vinegar. I have a little bit of celery salt. Again, we're just reinforcing a little bit more of the taste of the celery. So we'll put some celery salt, some black pepper, and I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. Your celery salt already had some salt in there, so we don't want to put too much in there. And remember, when adding salt, always start with a little bit. You could always add a little bit at a time, but once you put too much in, you can't take it back once you add it. So just start with a little, give it a taste, and if it needs some more, you can add some more. So I'm just going to put a pinch and give it a mix. And you can smell the vinegar. You can smell the onion, the fennel, it all just comes together so beautifully. It's such a perfect festive dish. And the best part about this is, is that you can put this in the refrigerator and make this possibly even up to the night before because the fennel and the apples, it will all hold up and you won't have to worry about it. And kind of the longer you let it sit, the more the flavors of the dressing will be absorbed into it and just make it taste that much better. I'm Michelle Karam with Dishes by Michelle. Thank you so much for watching my video on Thanksgiving fennel slaw.